Hello everybody, this is Pat and Heidi with Rain Country Homestead. God is good all the time. And we are here to discuss a little bit about reevaluating our goals. Every now and then we'll revisit uh, what our goals are in retrospect to what we have going on around our place and also what the economy is doing and the cost of property and different things like that. So uh, property around here is going through the roof. And so we have Crazy. been looking at different options as far as um, property and what we've kind of decided for the short term is that we're just gonna kind of hold our own. We're gonna be fixing up some stuff around here uh, Heidi's been showing some little shots of our used to be dance room and martial arts room and slowly transforming that into a family friendly game room and or teaching studio for potential classes that we might <laughs> start eventually having down the road. So it's going to be kind of a multi-purpose, multi-faceted uh, room. Uh, when we built this room years ago, we had that in mind to make it a multi-faceted room. Now we're in another stage of our life where kids are out of the house. Eventually they're going to get married and you know how that goes. And eventually there might be some kids and grandkids and such. So want to have family get-togethers and so we want to transform this room into a fun room and also a place where we can work on crafts where we can also maybe put on some presentations or have some get-togethers and share with different folks what we're up to so yeah that's and that's in case you haven't figured out, that's the room that we're sitting in right now. And we always show you little corners here and there every so often. and Because it's just not quite ready to do a tour of the whole thing. Because things have been changing. But I did uh, post a, a blog post on our Patreon that I also shared over to the YouTube community page. If you want to check out the one side of the room where Patrick closed in. I can also actually just put a picture right here where you can see that Patrick walled in my sewing area and that is holding all my fabrics are going to go on the other side of that wall and it will keep it out of sight and looking neat and then separate that section from the rest of this room now in that picture the trim work isn't done that's one of the things that he still has yet to do on that wall um, but we got it decorated up with some beautiful paintings that we got from my mom's when we went to clean out her house mm -hmm. And so then, you know, we got the, you can see also in that picture, the pool table that is there, it's leveled and set up. And you probably would have seen the video with, that just went up too about setting up and leveling the table. We have the felt in, Pat's going to be putting that on maybe this week. Maybe this week, uh, we are working on a deal of, you know, getting a real nice foosball table as well. And that is going to kind of complete our ensemble so we'll yeah. be able to play board games and pool and we got a large tv for the Over you know here. you know for playing rock band or whatever it is the kids want to do and so trying to make it a real a real comfortable place that everybody can have a good time and so uh we're still in transition still a lot of things yep. going on repainting this room it hasn't been painted for 20 years <laughs> yeah not well some of it has but not all of it the ceiling now hasn't since we built it yeah so we have a lot of 95 old, yeah so we have we have a lot of uh different things that are going through a slow transformation and of course that you know depends on finances what we got coming in too so yeah. um the pool table we got a sweet deal on it um the also the the foosball, foosball table, table by the time you see this video will be in house and set up and ready to go and yeah i mean we just have a lot of yeah. a lot of things plus the garden we you know all of the transformations that we're doing with the garden 
But we're also keeping in the back of our mind that someplace we may sell this house. But we are also yeah. may just get a piece of property to go with the house, a place to go hang out and, um, you know, kind of a recreational type environment. So that we could, you know, if we decided we wanted to, we could build a cabin on and mm -hmm. you know, do whatever. We, we were definitely keeping that option open. We're not at all giving up on looking for property. Right. But part of the thing is, is as we see what we can do each year that we move forward and just even though we keep shopping for property we just keep improving on what we have here and the more we do here the more we realize we can do you know taking those trees out out front and putting the, our little mini orchard in is you know that's going to realize us quite a bit of fruit a uh, way more fruit than either one of us can eat but plenty for us to be able to share with our family mm -hmm. and so that's pretty that's going to be pretty exciting and and so we realize that we don't really have to have acres and acres of land. The living outside of the city limits would really be nice for several other reasons. Uh, being closer to the kids, especially with Ryan and Kayla getting married in August. You know, they're in their mid-20s, so I don't think, you know, grandbabies are going to be too awful far behind <laughs> that. And... You know, we want to be here for our kids. And you've heard me talk in other videos about uh, how I like to collect vintage books, especially anything that's uh, readers for kids of all ages. And part of that is, you know, if the kids do decide to homeschool and they need some help with that, I want to know that I can be here and have the, have the material and be able to work with my grandchildren if that's something that they choose to do, which of course... I personally hope so, but it's going to be up to them, really, ultimately. But but regardless, the some of what it's not that we haven't thought about these things, but you know, losing my mom in January and then going over there and cleaning out her place, we had to do that two weekends in a row. When yesterday was the was the second Saturday that we spent the whole day driving over there, cleaning the stuff out, and. Uh, it, it's been hard, you know, it's been exhausting, you know, emotionally exhausting, physically exhausting in the form of driving three hours there and driving three hours back home again in the same day. And, uh, but in the process of doing all that, it does kind of, it does kind of change the way you see certain things and realize even more so you're reminded again, the importance of family and, um, you know, so, you know, seeing my, you know, because my, my siblings, a couple of my siblings were able to jump in and help, you know, with the house. It wasn't just me and Patrick, you know, mm -hmm. we really, you know, there was my sister and my baby brother. We, you know, we busted and got a lot done and it, it was, it was good, but, you know, working together like that and, and then seeing everybody at mom's funeral was another thing that just reminded me how much I miss everyone. And I, we want to, we want to, at least with our own kids, we want to make sure that we keep tight bonds and close relationships with them because we realize sometimes family is all you got. Right. And for the extended family, for our siblings, both of our siblings, and, you know, we, we want to just keep working on, on uh, developing or continuing good relationships with them and, and maybe down the road that can also be a way that we can impact each other positively, you know, because we all hope, you know, any of us who are in our kind of position that we're in, like a lot of you that follow us know, we all hope that we can have a positive influ influence on our family in the long run that they will see the importance of getting themselves in a position that when hard times hit that they're you know, they can take care of themselves. Obviously, we all have our own different differences and our own things that we like to do, and that's totally cool. But I think everybody, no matter, you know, if they're more citified or they're, they like to go on vacations, fancy vacations every year, I don't have any bit of problem with that. But I'd sure just be great if everybody would think of just doing something small, even just something small, like putting away a little food and little savings and a little water so that, 
when hard times hit them, you know, they're prepared. I mean, because we care and we love them. And so that's just another one of these things, you know, reevaluating our, our goals in general has been more focused on our family. You know, number one, our kids and their significant others. And then, and then also on the extended family and just wanting to be there for them, you know, as far as developing these relationships and having fun. And we think one of the ways to do that is, you know, making this room more for that. You know, that's why we're going through this. And we've been setting money aside for being able to do things like this and trying to been trying to decide exactly where what we all we want to do with all of it. We know we want to buy some property, but we decided right now we'll focus on this, focus on, focus on fixing up this room, but also continue to work on the property in general, you know, finishing out the fence and the gates and the whatever else is the house to see there's always something, right? There's always <laughs> something when you have, when you own anything, there's always something that needs to be fixed right. all the time, especially in places like this where you got rain and moisture all the time, rotting things out. <laughs> So fences and gates around here don't, and you know, roofs. <laughs> and roofs, they don't, that's the other thing. We got to get a new roof because mm -hmm. we lost a bunch of shingles a while, a few months ago and in the storm. So anyway, that's just some of the, I guess, you know, it's not like we're completely changed our views or in our viewpoints, but our focus on what's most important right now for us to, for us to, concentrate on has changed a little bit yeah this kind of looks like we're not we're not going to move out of the area i think is is probably we're thinking about more sticking where we're at and then if if it comes around to where we can find a piece of property that wow you know that kind of <laughs> that's exactly what we're looking for and it's exactly the right price and so on and so forth then we'll probably move ahead and and delve into that. But um, for right now, we're going to make that assumption that okay, well here we are. Let's live in today. Let's um, yep. make make it happen where we're at until. But you know, keep our eyes open and peeled for something else to be uh, available to us. So mm -hmm. we're in the short term. We're just kind of holding fast. We're yeah. Just improving what we got here, right. and yeah. And a lot of people have interacted with us, especially those who live in smaller areas, areas even smaller than ours. They like what we're doing here, mm -hmm. and they like the inspiration of knowing that they they don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of acres of land in order to right. be able to take care of themselves. And you know, we believe you can do it anywhere you choose. You know, our friend Tina is uh you know she i've mentioned her so many times and she's she just lives in a tiny apartment just a two two room it's got a bedroom with a bathroom in it and then a just one big room with that's kitchen dining room living room laundry room all in one and yet she is making the most of what little space she has growing herbs and vegetables and pots and her she's talk to her landlord and they have there's a big chunk of property you know a just yard area in the back of the apartment complex that never gets used for anything and the landlord agreed to let her till up a big chunk of it and put a garden in so she's doing that this year and so you may even be able to do the same thing and that's one of the things by staying where we're at not that we can't still demonstrate that those things on a bigger piece of property but Staying where we're at forces us to have to continue to be more creative and then in turn be able to show you how you can use these same methods for you. And of course, you know, your area is going to be, you know, if you live down in Southern California, like the DeVay's family, and they had even less property to work with than we do, and they're growing like 600 pounds worth of food a year or something in their tiny little place, and they had goats and chickens. They probably had extended growing seasons too. But yeah, because but, they had extended growing seasons, they were able to do that. But what we want to do here is we want to be in inspiration across the board. You might not ever care to fix a starter on a rototiller or resurface a pool table or level a pool table. But 
all these different skills that you hone and you practice, you research, all these things kind of overlap over time. And it's the same thing with Heidi, Heidi's cooking and the herbs and the health stuff. You know, all of that stuff kind of overlaps. And the more you learn, the more enabled you become or self-sustaining you can become by, you know what, I think I can tackle that. And that's, that's the way that was with the pool table. Um, I was a little bit intimidated about it. I did a little bit of research on it. I, I thought about all these different things that would have to come along with, with actually tearing it down and then setting it back up and leveling it and, you know, redoing the felt on it. And, you know, it's just a man-made thing. And so here we're not trying to say anybody is better than anybody else. It's just the things that we want to portray to you. We want to encourage you. You know, we do all kinds of different things here. It might not necessarily be what exactly you're doing, but that might give you an idea or say, you know, that the way he's putting something together with wood, I can apply that to this particular item. Um, not everybody's going to be a cabinet maker. Not everybody's going to be able to turn something on a lathe. But some of the concepts that will over overlap in other shop areas, you know, how to make different joints and how to use different fasteners, all those things will will have the capacity and the ability to overlap in some way or another in whatever you're doing. So right. that's what we want to do here. And yeah. if that extends off into another piece of property someplace else, hopefully what we're doing here has been an inspiration and, and hopefully it's been something that you can glean information from and apply to your situation and wherever you live. So that's what we're doing. and. Yeah. That's and if you're new here uh, and you're, you know, maybe you've seen a couple of our prepping videos and that's what attracts you, or maybe you've seen a couple of our gardening videos and that's what attracts you, just remember we have videos on how to's on all kinds of stuff. You know, for me, it'd be the crocheting and the sewing and the how to make your own natural soda and your own homemade makeup and other beauty products and tooth powders and. And for Patrick, it's showing how to do woodworking things and, and basic maintenance around the house, you know, plumbing things, fixing leaks. And he's a very, he's very skilled at woodworking. He can show you how to work a wood lathe. And obviously we know which each video that we put out like that, it's not going to appeal to everyone who's our follower, but we, we hope to inspire each person or find that each person that comes in, there's gonna be various different things that they're interested in and that's what we're trying to do. And also knowing, like I said in my Sewing 101 video, this I've only put out one so far, I do plan on doing more, I just getting around to it. Um, I'm trying to go back a little bit, back, back up a little bit on some things and go more simplified because we realize in the, in our school system of today, Things, the basic skills like home economics. Now, I don't know what they're doing for shop and wood, wood shop and things like that in school anymore, but home economics is pretty much gone. They don't do any of that anymore. Kids are not taught how to budget, budget their finances or nothing. They don't know, they don't know how to even, they don't know anything about a sewing machine and how to work it. They don't know how to do any stitching by hand. They don't know how to do any cooking. They're not even taught. There was a time when they started backing off. They were at least teaching kids how to bake stuff from a box, from a package, how to read a package and cook something from it. Now they're not even doing that. So you got kids graduating from high school that don't even know how to open up a package of Top Ramen and cook it. Not like I recommend that <laughs> garbage, but really, I mean, seriously, don't even know how to do that. And so I think it's just really important that we just kind of bring it back to the very simple basics and want to keep getting that information out there because we have a lot of young people coming in and watching our channel wanting to learn because they realize I'm not getting this in school and my parents don't have time because they're both working outside the home and 
they don't know how to do it either or something. Yeah, and so. so if you guys if you guys are if you guys like what you see, um, share it with with uh, some other folks that you might know. And also, if there's something that well, I don't know if he's quite doing that right, or you know he might be doing that right, but here's another way to do it. Um, share that with us. You know, we're open for discussion. We're not closed-minded when it comes to that kind of thing. So there's a myriad of different ways of doing something. We're putting something together. And that comes to cooking, sewing, or whatever. That you know. So go ahead and put down in the comment section below uh, some of your stories. You know, especially on some of these prepping videos, we got my goodness That's sakes, we've got stuff. Some wonderful stuff that comes back at us and really solidifies and encourages us to. Yeah, that's why we're doing what we're doing. It's because that might happen. And so, yeah, just be very open about sharing what's going on with you, a very practical yeah. application. So, and it is good for others to see, you know, not, not right. just our not stories. Not just us, but a lot of people. Our stories come are going to be different. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people go through and they actually read mm -hmm. those comments because a lot of you have uh, fascinating stories to tell. Yep. And, Absolutely. You know, real live skin on things that has happened to you is the reason why you prepare or why you save or whatever the case may be. So, and also another thing is, uh, and Green Rage mentioned this too in under the la that last prepping video that we had that had published anyway about you know how things are fluid through life, you know, things change. Just when we think we're where we're gonna be and right. or where we know where we're gonna head, then things kind of change a little bit and we have to learn how to roll with that. You know, share with us your, your uh, some examples of, you know, maybe you're into prepping, but what you thought you were gonna go one way with it or homesteading, you know, or homesteading and prepping. You know, I think, I always say, I think they're pretty much the same thing. They're just kind of, two sides of the same coin, but they're, they have the same goal really. But uh, where have your, what your original goals or what you thought you saw for the future, what what has changed a little bit in that? Right. Where did, where is your focus changed and why? And uh, sometimes I think, you know, at least for us, I feel like the Lord kind of shows us where the importance of our priorities really should be where we thought we thought maybe they were in the right place and then and then we realize we need to kind of change direction just a little bit doesn't mean that we're giving up on all that we're still going to keep doing that stuff but right. maybe with but simply with just a little bit different focus is all mm -hmm. so share with us your personal stories there too because you know that that just i don't know i guess that just helps us all see that we're all we're all human. Yeah, we, we all, all change directions, and we yeah. all, you know, or our directions it's okay. kind of, you know, it's okay to reevaluate, and, right. and it's important to reevaluate anyway. Just like we talked about with your budget, you should always be looking at your budget and reevaluating it all the time, and and adjusting it so that you're still saving money, you're still staying staying out of debt, and not getting yourself too caught up in buying pool tables and foosballs. <laughs> 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 yeah, second hand. Second hand. Right. Yeah. I, as far as pool tables and foosball tables, uh, there's a lot of them out there. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. Don't get used a lot. <laughs> Maybe these ones won't either. But um, I think they will. Yeah. I think they I, will. So anyway. The kids are pretty Yeah, my they're pretty excited oldest, oldest son came doing. over the other day and I think he thought that I already had felt on it. <laughs> and he uh, looks at the table and he goes, Oh, you don't have felt on yet? <laughs> said, nope. <laughs> It's in the yeah. mail. <laughs> so anyway. But you can see them. They're getting excited. Yeah, I think they're getting yeah. excited about it. You know, you can kind of surprise the uh, old dad is getting into the gaming a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and that we're kind of. <laughs> Notice the grindstone so, so that long. We're kind that they're of not loosening used. up a bit on yeah, some things. They're yeah, they're a little bit uh, shell-shocked, I yeah. think. But anyway. But yeah, and, and uh, we already did have one family game night and some of this other stuff we're trying to hurry up and get done for this for next one because we're gonna it's gonna be bigger we have more family coming over and yeah and and my very big brother even said he may come over sometime and and hang out with us right from over where he's at so mm -hmm. that'd be cool okay well that's I guess that's it 
Yeah, we could go on for another hour or so, I guess. If I we... don't need to do that. <laughs> All right, we'll let you guys go. Uh, appreciate you stopping by. Again, comment down below. Uh, appreciate your support. So, thanks for watching. Take care. And God bless.